Hi, my name is Mark Zubak from the Rex Nord Bearing Group. I have nearly 40 years of experience with mounted ball and roller bearings. Did you know that 70 to 80 percent of bearing failures are caused for two reasons? One, contamination and lubrication. Two, some type of installation related issue. Seals, which we talked about in a previous video, affect the lubrication contamination end. Mounting styles, on the other hand, can affect the installation. Regardless, if a bearing fails, we may have to remove the gearbox. We may have to take the coupling off. We may have to replace the pulley on the conveyor. And in some cases, maybe we even damage the shaft and have to replace the shaft. What is this? Cost. Loss in productivity. Loss in reliability. That's why bearing selection is the key. So when you look at bearing selection, choosing the right seal, choosing the right shaft mounting style is of the utmost importance to increase our reliability, reduce our cost, and above all, keep our equipment running. In this video, we're gonna talk about mounting styles. Basically, we have four styles. We have set screw or set collar. We have a centric lock or cam lock as referred to. We have concentric lock or clamp lock, or we have tapered adapter. Set screw, very popular in ball bearing, or set collar, very popular in roller bearing, utilize a serrated set screw. Now, this is by far the easiest to install, by far the lowest cost, but it does have some limitations. The limitations are simple. Using a serrated set screw, I bite into the shaft creating burrs. Those burrs make it very difficult to get the bearing off the shaft sometimes. The other limitation is shaft size. There are recommendations for shaft size and they must be followed in order for a set screw or a set collar to work effectively. This is especially true if I have high vibration, high shock, or high load. So following the shaft size recommendation per the service instructions is absolutely critical. Within the Rex Nord product line of bearings, in roller bearing, we have the Rex 2000 series single set collar. We have the Rex double set collar 5000 series. In link belt, we have single set collar 22400. We have link belt 22500. And we also have PT Select single set collar. Also, in ball bearing, Standard duty and intermediate duty, we have the S and the U inner ring. In medium duty ball bearing, we have an S inner ring. And in the heavy duty ball bearing, we also have a U inner ring. Next up, a centric lock or a centric cam. These are very, very popular in ball bearing. They are still very, very easy to install and their cost is still relatively low. They are a little bit more forgiving and a little bit more reliable than perhaps a set screw or a set collar. The reason is I get a little bit more grip force. They're also a little bit more tolerant to shaft size. The way they work is I've got a collar that's got a cam on it, and I have an inner ring that's got a cam. The collar goes over the shaft, over the inner ring, and I rotate till it's tight. What that does is give me a tremendous amount of grip force with the collar onto the shaft. Now its limitations are that it still has a set screw, Set screw causes burrs, makes it difficult to get off the shaft sometimes. But in comparison to the set screw, might be a choice if you're having a little bit of problem with set screw or set collar. The other limitation is you must make sure you rotate this in the direction of rotation. If you don't, there's a chance that it will come loose. Within the product line of Rexnord, in ball bearing, we have the Y inner ring, wide inner ring, or we have the W narrow. In our heavy duty ball bearing, we also have a Y inner ring. And in the Rex Nord Rex product line, Rex only, we have the 3000 series bearing. The problem with set screw, set collar, eccentric cam, eccentric lock, is that they push the center line of the shaft off center, depending on the amount of clearance there is between the shaft diameter and the inner ring bore. That off center position creates vibration. Vibration is a bearing's enemy. So anything we can do to reduce vibration will increase bearing life. That brings us up to our next styles. So in order to fight the vibration and in order to fight the off-center condition created by set screw or set collar, we can go to either a clamp lock style or we can go to a tapered adapter. If we want to jump up in performance, 
we might consider a clamp lock. Clamp lock uses a concentric collar and an inner ring that has slots in it. As I tighten the collar concentrically, I squeeze the inner ring centrally over the shaft. If I clamp centrally, tighten the inner ring centrally, that means I have very, very good concentricity. Very good concentricity means no vibration. So clamp lock, easy to install, great concentricity, low vibration, great capability to go on to undersized shafts. In fact, in most cases, with a clamp lock, you're able to clamp on shafts that are commercially available. That could be up to 5 thousandths undersized, depending on the shaft size. So what does it do for you? More clamping power, no vibration, and I can clamp on shafts that are slightly undersized. It's a win. With the Rex product lines, in our ball bearing lines, we have a standard and medium duty CL. Now our CL is different than most other clamp lock designs. Most other clamp lock designs use six slots in the inner ring and one slot in the collar. Where the Link Belt CL uses a split collar with two cap screws and an inner ring that has eight slots. Plus the inner ring is grooved to retain the collar so you don't lose the collar. So tremendous amount of grip force, tremendous amount of vibration loss, no capability of damaging the shaft, making it easy to get off. So I have high load, caping, high load carrying capability, low vibration, easy to install, easy to get off. So what do I get? Lower cost, better reliability, more uptime, and my overall cost is low. Tapered adapter is the ultimate shaft holding power. What tapered adapter does is I take a tapered sleeve and a tapered bore and I draw those two tapers together, squeezing the tapered adapter sleeve over the shaft. What does that do? Well, the first thing is I clamp centrally. If I completely clamp centrally, I'm going to get rid of vibration completely. And as we know, vibration is a bearing's enemy. Reducing vibration is going to increase bearing life. The other thing is I get maximum grip force because not only do I have 360 degrees of clamping, I also have the length of sleeve that I'm clamping. So 360 degrees plus the full length of sleeve clamping power. With all that done correctly, I'm really going to reduce my cost because bearings aren't going to come loose. One of the problems is though, since I'm not connected to the bearing itself, this bearing traditional tapered adapter can be difficult to install and sometimes even more difficult to uninstall or remove from the staff. But still, to be honest with you, reduce vibration, maximum clamping force, reduce cost. Within the Rexnord product line, we have the Rex 9000 series tapered adapter, we have the Link Belt 22600 tapered adapter, and we also have the PLB SAF compatible PLB 6800. From a non-traditional tapered adapter, we have a variation. It's called the Rex 6000 series or Sherlock, as we prefer to call it. Sherlock still takes a tapered adapter, but provides a connection to the inner ring. There's a thread on the inner ring. There's a thread on our lock nut. These two are connected together. So not only am I able to tighten it with the thread, but I'm able to remove it. That's even, I think, more important in some cases than putting it on easy. So Rex 6000 series, or we also have it available in our 300 series ball bearing with an A inner ring style. You want reduced vibration, increased load capability, maximum bearing performance. You can go to the Rex 6000 or our 300 series ball bearing with Sherlock technology. Maximum performance. Again, you have to look at tapered adapter. It's gonna cost you more. It may take you a little bit longer to install, but the bottom line is no vibration. It's not coming loose. Therefore, maximum performance, lowest cost, lowest downtime, best productivity. So let's reduce our cost and possibly use a tapered adapter. Let's quickly review what we talked about today. We started out with set screw, 
set collar. Low cost, easy to install, has some limitations on its holding power and its capability. Eccentric cam or eccentric lock, a little bit of an uptick in holding power. Have to make sure you turn it in the direct, correct rotation. Still can damage your shaft, but a little bit of an uptick from the other one. Clamp lock and ball bearing, tremendous amount of capability compared to either set screw, set collar, or eccentric cam or eccentric lock because it locks centrally, reducing vibration, therefore reducing cost. Tapered adapter, the ultimate solution, is always going to give you higher bearing performance, is always going to give you the best vibration resistance, and is always going to give you the best performance as far as a bearing. So when we basically boil it down to, which one do we want to choose? You should choose wisely. You want to reduce your cost, you want to reduce your maintenance cost, you want to increase your uptime, you want to increase your reliability, you must choose wisely. There are many choices, but sometimes you have to upgrade your choice in order to get an increase in performance. So let's get out there and reduce our costs.